Okay, so step one is as the priest, you must draw into the shadow boxer and the divine spirit in your beginning hand. And for the mage, you need to have the lore walker cho and ice barrier. Now, the reason why you need ice barrier is because we need to swap, keep swapping ice barriers and attacking into each other so I can trigger it. Because as a priest, it's going to be my turn when I do all the shadow boxer triggers and I don't want to die like after like six or seven circle of healings so that's why we keep doing that for the mage it's not really as important because the mage will have ice block so she won't be able to die but for me i need a bunch of armor now once we have enough mana to be playing ice barrier and divine spirit now we can start buffing the shadow boxer pretty much and we just keep buffing and keep buffing it until it's in a health that I'm comfortable that it won't die, which admittedly is too much health. He, he doesn't need this much. Now to save time on buffing, we each have two faces manipulators in our deck, which I wanted to use both of them for making shadow boxers that are already buffed, but I actually had to use one for lower walker Cho, and I'll explain that later. So with only two shadow boxers and two faceless manipulators, that's only four shadow boxers. So we use Echo of Mediv to give us more. So this is where I kind of messed up, but I was able to save it. So the reason why I played two Lore Walker Chos here is because as the mage, I drew into the Echo Mediv too late. And so it's going to take a lot of turns to buff up these last shadow boxers. So what I did was I put down another Cho and then played two Divine Spirits, which would make four Divine Spirits. But I didn't want more than that. So after I made the four, I killed off the one Cho. And so I didn't want to keep duplicating and duplicating Divine Spirit because then I wouldn't have enough uh, space in my hand for 10 Circle of Healings. So this just sped up the buffing because I didn't want to take too much fatigue damage. So the last card that I drew into was the Faceless Manipulator. So now I can use this Faceless Manipulator on the Cho and now we can start making Circle of Healings. Now that I have all the circle of healings, all I did was attack into each enemy minion and then I used all the circles and then that's how I got a thousand shadow boxer triggers, give or take. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you like Hearthstone and Dota 2, then subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I upload my videos. Alright guys, take it easy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my stuff, I really appreciate it. If you want, click the links above and you can check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, click that subscribe button. Alright guys, take it easy.